Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Wilder. Today I'm just going to run you through a few tips on how to best care for your ficus um, plants. We've got a few different varieties here that I'm going to show you. So we've got the weeping fig, we have the fiddle leaf fig, the um, original sort of variety, and then we have the bambino variety as well. And then lastly, we have a rubber tree. So I'm going to run you through the best lighting to keep them in, watering, soil, and how often to repot and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Okay, so for lighting for ficus, they really, really need a super, super bright spot. So that's the main thing with them. It's really important that you keep your plants in a really bright area. Ideally, you wanna be getting at least two to four hours of direct light a day, and then a lot of indirect light as well. So as you can see, we've kept ours next to the bright window here, and this will stay bright all day, and that's really, really what these guys need. So a lot of the times when you see the leaves dropping off at the bottom, it's because they're not getting enough light. So biggest thing for all ficus, rubber trees included, and all your fiddles, they need really, really bright light. And if they don't have that, they won't be happy. Okay, so for watering for the fiddle, um, you just wanna make sure that you're letting your all of your ficus variety, let them dry out completely between watering. That's the best thing that you can do for them. So what you wanna do is you wanna pop in, as you can see, there's a few little leaves dropped off here and that's totally fine. We just wanna take them out before we water. If we leave them in, they will decompose in the soil and the plant won't be super happy. So just make sure to take out any dead leaves and then come in and stick your finger in like you do for your other plants. Feel if it's wet or dry. This one's ready for a water. So before I water, a good little tip for the fiddles especially, a lot of the time they can get sort of bendy, weak stems inside. And that's just because indoors we're not having a lot of breeze and the plants aren't sort of shaking. And naturally in nature, they sort of, when the breeze comes through, they root down and they become a lot stronger. So if you wanna recreate that inside, you just wanna grab your stem and I know it sounds silly, but just give it a little shake and your plant will recognize this and create a better root system and stronger stems. So each time you water it, just give it a little wiggle, not too hard. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna come through and give it a nice even water. Kanye is gonna join us and just water all the way around. And obviously enough to sort of soak your plant all the way through. And that way, you know, <laughs> Thank you, Kanye. You know that you won't have to do it again for at least a week. Um, and yeah, you should be good to go. All right, so it's super important if every few weeks or so you can come in and have a good look at your plant and just make sure that there's not any dust sitting on top of the leaves. Um, the main thing for this is if you have a lot of dust on your leaves, it's just going to stop the sun from getting through and your plant being able to sort of use that energy to grow. So just um, if you want to come through with like a wet cloth and just give your plant a nice wipe down on the leaves and you'll actually be very surprised at how much comes off. It's quite shocking sometimes, but your plant will look so much happier after. Um, and I always recommend every month or so if you can get your plant and just pop it in the shower and give it like a nice hose down with the shower. That way, you know, you're getting to every single leaf and it's all gonna run off and look absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it'll have a nice water and it'll look very fresh again. It's a lot of dust coming off this one. All right, so last of all, we're just gonna talk about repotting. So it's really important with all of your ficus, fiddles and rubbers especially, they don't actually like to be repotted that often. So they much prefer a sort of, not a smaller pot, but a pot that they are a little bit tighter in and a little bit more root bound. That way you know they're gonna spend their energy growing the leaves and not the roots. So for example, in the pot wilder family, we have a huge fiddle that's over eight feet tall and we repotted it up from about a 30 centimeter to a 40 centimeter pot and it took over a year to grow a new leaf and that's just because it will spend all its time growing the roots out to fill that pot so just to be safe 
We recommend to only repot your plants, especially fiddles, every one to two years even. Um, if you want to make sure that your plant has enough soil and nutrients, just top coat it with soil every now and then, and that will keep your plant super happy. And then just fertilizing in spring and summer, something organic preferably, or a liquid fertilizer works really well. Um, and we just keep all of ours in like a really nice free draining soil mix. So something with a little bit of bark and perlite just so it has a good drainage. Yeah. All right guys, thanks for watching again. We're going to leave a little Q&A in the next frame and you guys can send through all your questions about plant care and we'll be answering it this time next week. So if you've got any questions at all um, or any struggles, feel free to send them through and we'll be able to help you guys out. I should have said bye.